Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus through sign series. This is for Venus in Virgo. So if in your birth chart, Venus is in a sign of Virgo, this reading is for you. Those of you that are new to my channel, if you don't know where your Venus is sitting, you can go to any free astrology website and enter your birth information. Uh, it's gonna ask for your birth time, day and location. You don't have to know your exact time. You can put 12 p.m. and that's fine. But if in your birth chart, Venus is in the sign of Virgo, then this is for you. Um, sometimes both your sun and, and Venus can be sitting in the same sign. It still applies. And those of you, if you do um, know your exact time and you have uh, Virgo as your seventh house, this also applies to you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, also, as an announcement, I'm, I'm still going to make a general PSA, uh, but I have a 1-800 number now, so you guys who have been wanting phone readings will be able to uh, talk with me on the phone, um, but only when I'm available, of course, and um, I don't have set hours yet, but if you guys um, make sure that you're subscribed to me because I'm going to be making announcements on YouTube when I'm available for talks. Um, and you know, you'll be able to call in. Now, I already have the information in the description box though, uh, the website where um, I'm located in my 1 800 number. So make sure you guys go to that. And I also still do the private video readings. All right, so uh, central issue are starting off. We have the Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, we have the Two of Cups. Seven of Cups, Justice, Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands. Okay, so I'm already just kind of getting someone who is um, maybe, you've been dealing with this issue over and over again. It's on, it's off. Um, it's, it's just some sort of on, off again relationship. Or, or it's a relationship that's been very unstable. Maybe you guys have been together for ages, but there's just all always ups and downs. Or maybe there's always this one thing that gets in the way. One person is wanting commitment, the other person doesn't. Uh, also, there's a possibility that there's the juggling of two different relationships or someone who's running between two people. Like, and I mean, that's still kind of like the on off thing. Um, I'm saying, I'm seeing more like, um, well, I'm seeing both, but I'm also, like I'm saying, I'm also seeing the, uh, the someone who's juggling two different relationships. Um, and maybe that's why it's unstable because someone can't make a decision. Um, maybe there's someone from the past and someone new. But it's like, I can't decide. Someone saying, I, I don't know who I want to settle down to. I, I don't know who I want to commit to. And I'm seeing, you know, from time to time, you know, your guards go up because, you know, you don't want to deal with that. It's like, I don't want to deal with this again. Like, let me, I don't, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not answering the phone. I'm not uh, accepting this, this engagement or a proposal. This isn't the first time you've proposed. You know, it's, it's just very wishy-washy, very on and off. And someone is just having the hardest time deciding what they want. Um, even if this, even if you aren't in a relationship, I, I still feel like you're connecting with someone. There's someone that you have this connection with, but the, your situation isn't allowing you guys to be together. Um, I'm just still getting something about being in and out of a person's life. And then it gets to the point where you're like, is this ever going to happen? Um, but it's like you're so in love with this person. And every time they come around, it's like you can't see straight. You can't think straight. You don't see clearly. There's all this confusion going around about what to decide. You're always having to take a step back and figure out what it is that is going on in a relationship. Where is it going? 
I never know us going. It's like, I don't know, you just, you're so, you and this person, I just feel like it's, it's the same thing. I feel like it's on both ends. I don't, I would say maybe like one person is being, is uh, putting more into the relationship than the other person. But I feel like you guys take turns doing that or something. Or you guys take turns breaking up with one another. One month that they break up with you, the next month is you breaking up with them. You guys are just like having a really hard time getting on the same page. Or just something is always in a way, even if it's not juggling two different people, maybe it's juggling career uh, and you, maybe it's juggling family and you, um, or you're juggling career and them, or family and them. It's always like a decision, like, it's like, why do I always have to make this decision? It's making me think of um, that little preview with uh, Mila Kunis movie. And she was just like, why is those my own, why are those my only two decisions or two choices? It's like, it's like these awkward, horrible, both choices are just like, why am I always placed in this predicament? Neither one seems good or right, or at least for this time. So there's something really awkward going on and maybe too it's like you guys are whenever you guys are around each other it's like it's really awkward no one says the right thing and then you talk for a few minutes and then that's the end of it like you don't hear from them anymore um maybe this is something that's just been going on online and it's just this relationship so far it's just kind of like a fantasy or an illusion because you know, one minute you guys are commenting on each other's things and then the next thing you know, you guys are just like dead silent for months and then all of a sudden something happens and you're just like madly in love with them again. Um, or you guys are like communicating with each other or flirting with each other again. Uh, for some people, this is some sort of ongoing divorce that's just been dragging and dragging and dragging. It's like okay this divorce we why can't we finalize it and it, it's, it's just like it you sign documents and i'm seeing something that it might finally end this time though because we do have justice next to the ten of swords so maybe finally somebody is signing those documents that that ends it for good and then you both can move on with your life um, so maybe that is what the juggling of partners is like you're with a new person, but at the same time, you're not fully out of your divorce. So you're constantly talking to your ex husband or wife and you're like, you sign those papers yet, you know, so it's, it's something like that. So it does look like for some of you, those papers get signed and it's like, finally, there's an ending. I feel like somebody is just really afraid though. They're still, I feel like somebody's making excuses about something too. Um, okay, so like for some people who are having commitment issues, you're blaming the past or your partner is blaming the past. Somebody is saying, no, I don't wanna get married again because last time it ended up in divorce or no, last time this happened, you know, then we broke up. So. That is one reason why someone is having some sort of um, anxieties or paranoia, just overthinking something. They're afraid to move forward with something that they know they need to do. Or if you're getting ready to divorce somebody, you guys keep getting stuck in that mode. Like, what if we tried one more time? Like, what if, you know, I don't want to sign these papers because then if I sign the papers, it makes it absolutely final. But what if, you know, what happens after that? So I'm just kind of getting like this instability in relationships now um, in regards to this can contracts too. there's something going on with a wishy washy contract or a, a lawyer or agreement. Um, I'm seeing something for some of you, something ending with um, a job or a business partnership because there were too many hidden clause in the contract um, or it just was, it wasn't well put together. Um, 
pieces of information could have been hidden or missing. So it was like, okay, well, this that's the end to this legal agreement or this binding agreement. So it could be job, it could be le uh, legalities, it could be a relationship. Um, I'm just kind of seeing something falling apart here. I'm also seeing because of someone's inability to open up, it causes things to end. Or maybe they just go silent because they just, they're too stubborn or just undecided. I think it's more so undecided. It's, it's like Libra times a thousand, you know, maybe you're Libra with Venus in uh, Virgo or maybe you've got a stellium in Libra or something. It's something where you can't make up your mind and this is an ongoing situation where you're constantly having trouble making decisions. Um, constantly having to be fair, going back and forth. Maybe you're dealing with the Libra. Could be dealing with the Scorpio or Gemini as well. Um, but it's it's like it's hard. Uh, something's being made final though. Hmm. Oh my God. Still seeing delays here. It's a lot going on with you all. Okay, now we have the devil showing up. So again, we have being stuck um, in a situation or feeling trapped like someone trapped you. Um, also could be holding on to a relationship out of fear because you don't know what's going to, to happen. So it's fear that keeps you together, which isn't good. It's not trusting that you'll be blessed with something better. Like you don't believe it. You don't trust it. You don't see it because you can't you can't grasp it because it's not making sense to you. So you just figure I'll just hold on to what I know, even if that is not the healthiest of decisions. Uh, that's a toxic way of thinking. You may be in a toxic relationship or in a karmic relationship, but karmic is really only karmic because you don't know what's happening. You don't understand yourself and why you're staying in a situation because ultimately everything is up to you, really. You don't have to stay in anything that you don't want to. Um, I don't care if that person is threatening you. I mean, this is just overall just, I'm looking at this devil and I'm, I'm seeing someone who is draining. They just take all of your energy. Um, it's obsession, it's smothering here. And there's a desire to break free from that. But I almost feel like somebody is letting go of one bad situation and walking right into another one. It's like, when will you learn? You know, it's like, Okay, I'm, I'm out of that. That's over. But now you foolishly wander into this situation or this person. And also this could be either you, if it's not a toxic relationship, especially if you're just completely single or whatever, you've got a relationship with a bad habit. You, it, it could either be some sort of sexual addiction, um, 
even like if it's porn, you know, it's just like looking at it like nonstop or whatever. When it gets to the point where it's unhealthy, um, it could be eating habits. It could be spending habits. Um, it could be uh, drugs and alcohol, but there is an addiction, especially here. We got the hanged man. Usually, you know, this is about meditation, spirituality, but because it's showing up with the devil, it's making me think that someone spends too much time in escapism. Um, so, well, I mean, that's, that could be spirituality too. Like you spend way too much time meditating like too much meditation isn't healthy either i mean there needs to be a balance somewhere um or maybe you're aware of this issue so you've just been kind of praying for it like you don't know what else to do i'm seeing someone feeling like giving up so make sure you're not make sure you're talking to people about how you feel because you know these thoughts can get dark and you don't want to start thinking about hurting yourself. Um, if this isn't your energy, it's possible that it could be someone that you're dealing with. Even if it's not a love interest, someone that you care about. The Two of Cups is still talking about somebody that you care about. Uh, maybe they're feeling that way. Maybe they feel like giving up. And I'm also seeing those of you that is that it is talking about some sort of love connection you guys you guys think about each other simultaneously so it's, it's a telepathic connection and or a spiritual connection that you have with this person um i'm feeling like you're trying to understand something there's a sacrifice someone is feeling like i need to just give up i need to let go i need to move on because this is missing or emotionally this isn't there's still a void here there's an illusion um or maybe you're tr trying to hold on to someone who has uh, a drug addiction and it's like i don't know what else to do like i love them but i can't get them to stop using um you might be covering up their flaws or making the relationship seem bigger and better than what it is you might be posting all these uh happy things on facebook and the relationship is nothing far from happy so you might be um uh, creating an illusion to keep people from asking you or questioning you about your personal life or whatever there's something going on i'm seeing that you know the magician is somebody who's being very clever and who is creating some sort of reality that doesn't really exist i feel like it's a false perception of something being uh created or displayed here um now for some of you i'm seeing that either you or are a lawyer or dealing with a lawyer and this is someone who's very good at convincing an audience or at swaying other people's beliefs um so yeah you may be a lawyer or you may w work in the field of law where it's required for you to lie or cover things up or paint a prettier picture than what something is and that's just a part of your job here you're just like i just do what i have to do um sorry i was reading something um yeah it's like you have to do what you have to do um it's like you have to detach yourself and you're like this is just my job i'm sorry i can't help it you know this is just what i have to do um and it's, it can be consuming, especially if, you know, you're in this type of position. I'm not talking about, you know, trying to badmouth lawyers, but especially, especially, you know, if you are a defense lawyer and you got to defend criminals and people that this that this person represents, you know, and it's like, you know, you have to lie for this person. But that's just part of your job description. You're just that's the way you defend for people and fight for people. Maybe you're thinking about, I can't do this anymore, or, you know, this is, 
I don't feel right about it. So you might have some struggles with that. For some of you, it's like, you know what? I just have to do it. And for others of you, it's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to deal with it. I'm tired of covering for, for liars or people who are stuck in this dark place here. Yeah, for some of you, if this isn't about uh, a love relationship, this is having something to do with your career, you wanting to tap more into your spiritual side, but it's like, how can I do better when I'm when my job requires me to do bad things or my job requires me to do things that my, doesn't sit right with my soul? Like I feel imbalanced. I feel, you know, I've thought about quitting several times. I thought about giving up several times over and over, you know, so you might be in a dilemma where you're just kind of at your wits end here. Hmm. It's, it's like if you are whatever it is that you're de debating of letting go, I'm seeing like delays like this is only a temporary ending. Um, you're actually still you don't understand why you're in this position yet. So until you fully understand why you're in this situation, you're going to remain a slave to it. All right. Um, so that was just, you know, a brief reading for some of the energies for this month. It doesn't have to be the whole entire month of August, but you know, that just might be a situation that you could be dealing with. Uh, but I hope it did resonate for some of you. Um, if you want a private reading, you would email tamajtarot at gmail.com. Uh, or you can, um, you know, also look out for the phone readings. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check that description box, you guys, for my information so you can know how to reach out to me. Um, but thank you guys all for watching and many blessings to you.